Hello guys and welcome back to Reborn with Michael Watson. Today I just want a really quick discussion about how to ignore reality because trust me this is what I have been doing and trying to do and um, sometimes it comes with its challenges. Now this is based off the work of Joe Dispenza and Neville Goddard. They align in their theories so much and I say theories but they harden into fact through testimonial you know. So basically what happens when you're trying to ignore reality, you're going to see things such as, you know, maybe you're trying to improve finances and just nothing's coming in, or you're going to go through a period where things don't feel like they're going well, and you're going to really question it. You may have been doing this stuff for a while, but the truth is, is there's still part of you that isn't fully living in the end or believing your future. So how do we actually ignore reality? The fact of the matter is, is actually, if you had everything you want, why do you want the things that you want? Because you're going to feel a certain way. So what you have to do is be very mindful of what you, how you see things. And you need to choose love and happiness over all of these things. This is the key to ignoring reality. This is the key to manifestation. It's being greater than the environment. It's choosing the emotion that you want to feel regardless of what's happening in front of you. And, you know, it's like, if I want the new house, why, what feelings does that evoke? Safety, comfort, uh, abundance, joy, family, all of these. So live in that feeling today. I'm going to do it today, from this point on. I'm going to live as if I have everything I've ever dreamed of. And I'm going to take that, and I'm going to keep hold of that. Now, it may take a month, it may take six months. You stay there, you must stay there. You don't know why the things that are happening are happening to you. It's leading you to the next point. If you, you may think it's not what you want because it's not what you want in the here and now, but who are we to question the divine mind? Who are we to question anything? So we must keep moving forward. So to ignore reality, you just have to choose a different emotion. You see, it's when you react emotionally to your reality that you're accepting your reality. So all the great teachers, Michael Singer, San Sadhguru, uh, Joe Dispenza, Neville Goddard, they all say this. Create peace and harmony in your mind and you create peace and harmony in your world. So no matter what's happening with you, you must let go. Surrender to what is and choose a different thought anyway. Choose the thought of abundance. Choose the thought of love. You know, the truth is, why do you want abundance? Once you get it, you just want to give to everyone anyway. So that's the whole point. Now, I'm on a little mission myself at the moment. I'm trying to manifest a certain amount of money for my channel so I can update it and improve it and keep growing it. If you guys feel like you would like to be a cog in my manifestation and feel that we're aligned so much that you actually want to help me, please feel free. I'm going to, in the pinned comment below, there's a link to a PayPal where you can donate if you feel you want to. Just watching this video is so helpful. Please like, share and subscribe it with everyone, okay? And thank you so much. I just want to say I'm so grateful for everyone who's been watching the channel. Remember, choose now today to live the rest of your day in a state of joy. See what happens. Be the scientist of your life and see what happens. Test it. Put it to the test. Just live in joy today. So grateful for being able to chat to you all and thank you for your support and continued support. Please like, share and subscribe and take care.